Hey guys, my name's Adam if this is your first time here and today I'm going to talk to you about meeting Jerry O'Connell and working with him on a wrestling show in North Bay, Ontario. So the story's got to start out with a little bit of backstory about me. Um, when I was in like the 7th, 8th grade, I was a total sci-fi nerd. I still am a bit of one, but not as much as I was back then. And I was obsessed with this show called Slider. And of course that starred Jerry O'Connell. Fast forward quite a few years later and uh, Jerry O'Connell's in North Bay, Ontario filming a TV series called Carter. And he's also in like every establishment <laughs> Facebook feed. This guy, everywhere he goes, somebody gets a picture with him because he's that cool of a guy. It's so, it's so fun to shoot here because everyone is, um, everyone's nice. And, and, and I'm just not, I'm not used to that. I'm, a, I'm from, born and raised in New York, and now I live in Los Angeles, and I'm just not used to people being nice. To me, the most striking aspect of shooting in North Bay has been the sheer beauty. Of course, with us running a local wrestling promotion, we extended the invitation and asked if he wanted to take part. Turns out he loves wrestling. Uh, even in his Twitter feed around this time, he was talking about trying to get into PWG down in California, which is a really hot wrestling show that runs down there. So the show opens with the general manager, yours truly, in the ring. I see Jerry in the audience. Of course, I know he's there, and I invite him in. While all this is happening, the local bad guys, we call them the Southies, get involved and sort of cause a little bit of havoc. Uh, Jerry volunteers to be the special guest referee and I decide it's a pretty good idea and I make that match happen. The one nuance that I have to point out though is he's the outside referee. We have an inside referee which is Kevin Drew who, uh, we all love Kevin Drew, he's a great guy. Uh, but he knows what he's doing in the ring, so Jerry kind of takes care of the action outside of the ring. Drewski, if you don't know him, he's kind of like a 40-year-old fan in a referee shirt, but he does know what he's doing in that ring as a referee. I gotta give him that. So fast forward to the end of the show, the main event that Jerry's gonna be refereeing, and I realize this is gonna be my last chance to get a photograph with him, but I don't want to be that guy who goes up to someone and asks for a photograph when they're just about to get ready to go out. Fortunately, our referee Kevin Drew, who I said is like a giant fan in a uh, referee shirt, unabashedly goes up to him and is like, hey, can I get a photograph? Click, click, and uh, gets a selfie with him. So I'm thinking maybe I still don't want to do it. I'm a little bit torn, but I say, ah, oh, well, if Drewski can do it, I can do it too. And I go, hey, Jerry, well, you're getting a picture with him. Do you mind if I get one too? Drewski grabs my camera, turns around, and I'm posing with Jerry just as this is happening. A very well respected, a uh, very well respected wrestler walks by, and he goes, "Really, Adam?" Right as he's about to go out, and Drewski snaps the picture, and I've got egg all over my face. But whatever, I still got my picture, so I'm happy I did it. So of course, during the match, shenanigans ensue, and of course, referee Kevin Drew is incapacitated. He's knocked unconscious. Jerry O'Connell's not sure what he can do. He's the referee now. He's the man out there. He's in charge of the whole situation, but he doesn't really want to get involved until one of the Southies grabs a title belt and is about to take out one of his opponents by cheating and hitting him with a four object. Jerry O'Connell's got to get involved, but the Southie, he doesn't like this. He doesn't want to be stopped, so he challenges Jerry O'Connell to a fight, but Jerry O'Connell doesn't back down, rips off his shirt, and then scares him off, but his opponent rolls him up. Carter Mason grabs him for a pin, and Jerry, quick on his feet, he counts. One, two, three, the selfies lose. Jerry O'Connell saves the day. This was a really cool moment. Uh, I think all of our fans are going to be happy that they came out and saw this show. Uh, it really is a testament to what kind of stuff we're doing up here. Uh, we were expecting to get a lot of press. We were really disappointed that the local newspaper didn't show up for this one. They show up for all of our shows and they missed the huge one with a, with a celebrity on our show. However, afterwards we did send out a couple tweets and it turns out TMZ actually thought it was a pretty cool story. He is the special guest referee at this Rumble of the North Wrestling event in Canada. All the fans are chanting and like... He's in Canada doing all that stuff. The player's like an ambassador from the United States. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Canada's doing better than us. So, local newspaper misses a story right under their nose, while TMZ makes national news of it. As far as Jerry O'Connell 
Uh, what I do have to say is his personality is a lot different than uh, you expect. I kind of always thought he was sort of like Trip McNeely from Can't Hardly Wait. Trip McNeely. Trip McNeely. He's actually kind of a little bit high strung, a little wired. He kind of reminds me of Ashton Kutcher, but in a really good way. He's a really cool guy, really nice guy. Uh, got along with him great. He got along with everyone. He was really glad to be a part of the show. It was really cool. Having him there, uh, it's a really cool experience for me, uh, especially, like I said, growing up watching him uh, and really enjoying Sliders as a kid. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you're local to North Bay and you want tickets to the show, let me know and I'll hook you up. Uh, I've got them on sale, $15 each for the next show. Thanks for watching and have a good day.